I'm sure all of you have noticed batteries in supermarkets and at your home. We have all kinds of batteries for various needs. One terminal is marked positive and the other terminal is marked negative. We connect up the battery to a device such as an mp3 player or a portable radio and it gets roaring into action. So how do these batteries work? If you open up the battery case and look inside, there's a positively charged and a negatively charged terminal. These terminals are called electrodes. The positive terminal could be a metal like zinc which produces electrons in a chemical reaction. The negative terminal on the other hand includes metals like copper that attract electrons in a chemical reaction. A separator called the electrolyte creates a barrier between these oppositely charged electrodes, preventing them from touching each other while allowing electric charge to flow freely between them. The electrode at a positive terminal develops a positive potential, while the electrode at a negative terminal develops a negative potential. This potential difference between the two electrodes is called the electromotive force of the cell. When the battery is not connected to a load, there is no current flow as there is no part for these electrons to flow. The moment we close the circuit and create a part for electron flow, a chemical reaction takes place. Free electrons are generated at the positive terminal, which then flow through the closed circuit and land up at the negative terminal, Hooray! which absorbs these free electrons. This current flow goes on and on and on until the terminals run out of the substances required for the chemical reaction. <laughs>